The main aim of a research proposal is to give yourself a clear and definite idea of what you are going to do, how you are going to do it, and when you are going to do it. Let's get straight into details. The research proposal should be an outline of your proposed dissertation or thesis, giving some details about the aims and your research question. Your research proposal needs a title. Think about the aims of your project, the guiding question, or a practical problem that your research is planning to solve. Your research proposal needs an introduction. Include a short discussion of your topic and a justification of its significance, its value in your field in these times. Ask yourself, how would you argue for the value of this proposed project? Try to persuade your reader that this project is worthwhile. Make sure to also provide some background and a plan of the dissertation, that is, what will be included in each chapter. Your research proposal needs a literature review. Think. What are the key debates around your topic? What do academics and experts talk about and write about? What do they share in common and what do they disagree about? Consider how to critically evaluate the theories, concepts, methods and data used in previous studies of issues around yours and closely related topics. See if you can identify any research gaps, problems and limitations in other studies. What do you notice the others don't talk enough about? What do you notice they seem to avoid? What perspectives are missing or underrepresented? Remember to organize your literature review in accordance with themes or perspectives rather than in accordance with time or history. Your research proposal needs a research question. A research question is the ground, foundation, the signpost for your research. Remember the following. Make your question clear. So it provides enough specifics that your audience can easily understand its purpose without needing additional explanation. Make your question focused. So it is narrow enough that it can be answered thoroughly in the space the writing task allows. Make your question concise. So it is expressed in the fewest possible words. Make your question complex. So it is not answerable with a simple yes or no, but rather requires synthesis and analysis of ideas and sources before providing an answer. Make your question arguable. So its potential answers are open to debate rather than accepted facts. So, are your research questions ready? Share them in the comments below. Your research proposal needs a methodology section. In this part you should describe, explain and justify your choices of methodology. Say what the things and processes are, and give reasons why the methods should work, why they are appropriate, why they are the best. Consider the following. The research question. What do you want to find out? What are your main aims? You cannot select an appropriate research method without knowing what it needs to accomplish. The type of data. What type of data do you need to collect in order to answer your research question? Is it quantitative, numerical data, qualitative, non-numerical data, or both? The type of data you need will help you narrow down your choices of research methods. The resources available. How much time, money and other resources do you have available for your research? Some research methods may be more time-consuming and more expensive than others. The ethical considerations. For example, will you be working with minors or vulnerable people? Do you need any ethical approvals? Your research proposal needs to have a conclusion. This is your chance to remind your reader about your overall research idea. A proposal conclusion should have an honest acknowledgement of the special value or significance of your project and its potential limitations. If you would like to learn more on how to write your proposal or any other piece of academic work in a formal and academic style, make sure you watch this video next. 
Good luck and see you soon.